Hey YouTube, so here I have a small game example. Now it's an arcade game in space, and what you do is each player will have a planet or a set of planets, and they are positioned. Just imagine that you have a busy cityscape in space, and there's loads of ships moving around, and the busy traffic, and you want to capture them. So what you do is say I'm this one, for example, the ships will come flying by, and my current score is 100. Now each ship has its own value, like from 1 to 10 at the moment. The slower the ship goes, the more damage it does, and the faster the ship goes, the lower. So for example, this one here, <laughs> it's hard to grab one. So for example, this one here is going very, very slow, so if that hits you, it will do a lot of damage. But this one here is going very, very fast, so it will do a little bit of damage. And what happens is, this is your circle of influence, and as each ship goes through that, it will then do a random calculation between the value of the ship and your current points, and then if you're within a threshold, you will capture that ship, like the team over here, and, and then the ships will become yours. So let me just restart it because I've already broken this guy's ships. So what will happen is, the more ships you build up, the more points you get, the faster you then, in turn, capture more ships, to the point where you build up a fleet. Now if I just skip this a bit so you can see what it looks like when you have loads of ships. Now you can see here what happens is over time the score gets higher and higher so you're capable of capturing more and more ships to the point where you start to have like a mini fleet around your planet. Now the goal is to destroy the other people. Now I know that each player only has one planet here but that's fine. And now it's a very simple mechanic to move your ships to another planet of your own you just have to mouse over the ships in the orbit and they will fire off. Now to destroy the enemy, you want these ships to hit the other person's planet. So of course you have to try and get the right angle at which to let them go. So if I was to say orange attack green. <laughs> yeah, so, so like that. You can see that this one has taken damage, but because it's still gaining more and more ships quicker and quicker, it's going to be a hard one to kill. So you're going to have to build up a fleet. Now finally I want to show you what we're left with here is kind of an end game where each player has built up their own fleet. Now this is my favourite part of the game. If you were to have a massive map with say 100 planets and it's at the beginning but you've got a fleet like this, you just want to spread it out and capture as much as possible. So if I just mouse over. So far from the annoying clicking sound, you get this really pretty pattern, which I thought was pretty cool. Yep, that's this example. Thank you for following along.